Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial we are going to explain how to install and use Total Commander. Total Commander belongs to the class of Navigational File Manager. It enables you to quickly navigate through your computer, that is through your C or D drives, to simply copy files, create new folders, even start console, execute certain MS-DOS commands, etc. But before I start with explanations, let me briefly explain the main motivation for creating this video tutorial and for learning to install and use Total Commander. Well, I have been using computers since mid-90s and back then we used to use Microsoft DOS. And in Microsoft DOS you had graphical file managers which can be seen as the first version of graphics user interface for using your computer and somehow it looked like this then over time these file manager progressed and evolved into something called navigational file manager that looks more or less like this now my impression and my experience using file managers as well as total commander is that they can significantly speed up everything you are doing on your system. That is, if you are used to using Total Commander, you can much quicker manipulate files, folders, create different uh, structures, etc. compared to simple Windows Explorer. And my suggestion is that if you are into machine learning and coding, is to start using Total Commander. It will significantly speed up your design process. Okay, so let's start with installation. First of all, open Google and search Total Commander. Then go to this first link and over here you need to download. Simply click on download and select the version you want to download. Let's go with 64-bit version only and let's download the file. Save it in the downloads folder. Then let's go to the downloads folder and open the file. And installation will start. Let's use English. Let's click next. We don't want other languages. Next, next, next. Let's install this for all users. Next, and that's it. And installation is successful. And that's about it. So let's start Total Commander. To start Total Commander, simply click here and search Total Commander. Open it up. Press number 3 to start the program. Let's use the default settings and that's it. Let's not change anything over here or you can even play with these things if you like to have a different way of displaying things. Let's use this one for example and click OK. Now let me adjust several things. So first of all click on configurations, click on options and let's start with font. First of all, let's change the font size. Let's go with, the, for example, 12, such that you can nicely see over here the direct directory structure. And you can also set the dots per inch. Let's go with, for example, 175. Apply. Oh, this might not be so well. Let's go with 150. Apply. OK. And that's it. Good. Let's start with explanation. First of all, let's explain what you can see over here. Now, first of all, you can see that currently C is activated. This is my C disk and you can see the structure of the root of the C disk. That is, you can see all the folders on the left and over here you can see the copy of C display. That is, both displays over here or both windows represent the same C disk. Now, if you change here, you can go to D, D disk or any disk. Anything that's being attached to your system, you can even go to the network. You can go to wherever you would like to go. So let's go with C again over here. You can switch between these two windows by pressing tab. That is by pressing tab key, you can go from one to another. And then you can go down or up by using the arrows keys on your keyboard. Okay, so let's go to this folder over here and let's see what do we have over here. Here we have two files. Let's create a new file. That's super easy. Over here, you can see actually the console output 
and you can type notepad and let's go with for example test 10.txt press enter and let's create a new file and let's just close it and over here you will see the new file over here good now let's learn how to copy or move these files that's super easy but first of all let's learn how to create a new folder so let's say that we want to move these three files to a new folder over here to create a new folder you can simply see over here the command you need to press F7 keyboard key and let's call the folder for example new folder and press enter here it is now you can simply press enter to go inside of this folder then press tab to go back here and how to select files simple you can use space right key space key on your keyboard or you can do the right mouse click another way to do that is to simply hold and press shift and to select everything starting from the file you want or you can also deselect them by pressing space so let's move these two files simply select them by pressing space and press f5 and you see what will happen over here just press ok and the files will be moved simple as that okay so let's erase these files simply press tab select the files and you can simply press F8 to delete and you will be able to delete everything simple as that here's why I like total commander you can simply edit the file by simply clicking on the file and press F4 as you can see over here and you can edit the file you can add some text save close and here it is beautiful to view the file simply press F3 over here and you will view the file you cannot of course edit over here since this is a simple lister editor over here or maybe you can I don't know how to use it however still it's a very nice thing to see the file and let's learn a few additional things now sometimes you would like to start a MS-DOS or PowerShell or something like that command okay to do that for example you can type this command and then just press shift enter and what will happen this console window or command prompt will open and you will see that the command is executed and over here you you can do additional things you can copy paste you can do all sorts of things so that's one of the tricks over here of course total commander has a number of tricks this software is 30 years old and it has been continuously developed since then and there are a lot of hidden features and it takes time to learn how to use this software however I gave you just a brief intro and finally let's learn how to add these files to zip archive how to do that well relatively simple simply select everything by pressing and holding shift and clicking left mouse button and then over here you have these two buttons pack files you can select the options over here let's keep this default option here you can see where the files will be packed you can click OK and here it is beautiful now if you double click over here you will see all the files simple as that and finally let me show you another trick if you click here on configuration you can switch between dark or normal that is you would like to have something like this which is maybe less less difficult for your eyes and that's it okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial